Hi, this is Ron Tube. Today on the Hunter Classic, we're taking a look at International Rabbit Day 2022. That's right, the duration is seven days. It starts on the 21st of September 2022 on a Wednesday morning and it ends the 27th of September, Tuesday. Um, so you've got a week basically to do this. Lots of fun. You've got to harvest 30 bunnies cottontail rabbits, European rabbits, or snowshoe hares. To qualify for the community prizes, there's lots of those. Gender doesn't matter, yours or the bunnies. But make sure to use ethical ammo. So I'm on VDB in a minute. I thought I'd come and hunt Euro bunnies. Let me show you a nice, easy location to find them. And like I say, you've just got to get 30 rabbits of any kind, and uh, that's not hard to do. So nice and casual, but this is the location I'm be hunting for the Euro bunnies. And uh, they're all over this location, quite easy to find. So hopefully I'll show you some in a minute. But I normally go over this sort of side or the bottom right. And uh, there's generally a lot of Euro bunnies around there. You do not need to play in multiplayer or single player. It's up to you how you want to do your slaying. So gender does not matter. Any rabbit or hare harvested in the EHR will count. So I've got the pump shotgun. Bird shot, red dot, that's my favorite rabbit setup. Unless you want to use something uh, just to plink and from distance, like an air rifle, which could be good, a lot of fun. But um, the mission is hunting predators um, as well. So there's a separate mission and it's just about predators because the, you've got the rabbits and then you've got the predators who eat the, the bunnies. So mission is hunting predators on bunny reserves. Comps are all around rabbits, so they contribute to the rabbit count without pulling people out of the campaign. So we talk about the predator mission. So the apex predator mission, right? The objectives are you've got to harvest an arctic fox weighing more than 5.5 kilograms. Harvest a red fox in Val de Boas or bush rangers run weighing more than 9 kilos. Harvest a bobcat scoring more than 8. Harvest a coati with buckshot in Loggers Point, that should reduce the appetite in the rest of the pack. Harvest a feral hog with a slug in Loggers Point, Settlers Creek or Bush Rangers Run. Harvest a brown bear in Val de Boas, scoring more than 24. Harvest a black bear in Settlers Creek, scoring more than 20. And the rewards are International Rabbit Day Mission Trophy, Happy Camper Tent and 3000 GMS. So the Predator mission is really fun. We're gonna be doing some of that after we've got some rabbits. Um, I think I'll go Loggers Point, do some bobcat hunting, also it makes sense to go there because you can get bobcats, coaties, uh, also hunt rabbits if you want at the same time. So you can do part of the mission and you can get part of your, uh, your, your 30 rabbits while you're there. So this location is normally good on the right and also on the left on this road. Now what you want to look for is big mans at the ground if you've not hunted them before. They're normally quite easy to see. There's a Euro bunny. Right, so we know there's uh, sets near us, burrows. So we're going to go over to this side and find them. Now it's really easy how you hunt them. All you do is you sit close by the burrows and it's like whack a mole. You wait for them to pop out and then bang with a shotgun. There you go. That's what we're looking for. When you see those mans, you know the Euro bunnies are close. I always say this, but when I come back to playing classic after a little break, it is like coming home. It's a weird feeling, but it does feel like that. I can't believe it's nearly 14 years I've been playing this now. It's still such a great game. Right, we've got our pump shot here. We've just got to find a location where we're going to sit and have a good view. So what you want to do is get a view over as many burrows as you can find. Um... The distance, it just depends. Sometimes you can sit close to them and sometimes they'll come out, sometimes they don't. Now, what I do is, if they don't come out straight away, sometimes I'll fire a few shots or I'll walk down to the burrows and then come back to where I was actually sitting. I'll probably show you this in a minute. But um, once they start coming out, then they normally just keep popping out, popping out until you've killed them all. So, as you can see, I'm just seeing if there's any loose ones about because we've seen that loose one a minute ago. But yeah, you just want to get a good position. You can put a tripod down if you want as well. And um, they work well. Or you can even go at distance if you can get a good view 
um, of the burrows and you can just plink them from long range. There's loads of ways of doing it, but this is how I normally like to do it. Try and get above aerial view and then just sit and wait and just, um, you just got to wait for those ears to pop out the holes and or you hear them. That's a good one. Make sure you've got your sound up and you can listen and you'll just hear a little noise before they pop out. And it's just smash. Like I say, it's like rabbit whack-a-mole, basically. <laughs> I can't remember last time I actually hunted Euro rabbits. So I've just moved round to the left, because you can see more burrows here. And this is what I was talking about. You want to try and get as many burrows in your view as possible. And you've got more chances of spotting a rabbit as it comes out. There's one. It's a bit far out, though. Don't worry if you miss them, because they'll still pop out the holes. But I think we got him, I'm not sure. We'll have a look. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you messed up. Right, so there we go. We've definitely got one of them. So like I say, you need 30 to um, get part of the prizes from the community. And we basically all got to build the score up together. So it's a different kind of event, but a fun one. And there we go. Our first Euro Bunny. So like I say, you can go here or any other reserve with rabbits on. And just go and slaughter them. You've just messed up. But this is what I was on about. Once they start coming, they, they, they start popping out all the different holes. And then you just got to be quick with a shotgun. Number two, we'll take a trophy shot. Then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go over and we're gonna do some of the Apex Predator missions, um, the objectives. I'm gonna go Logger's Point and hunt Bobcat first, I think. Cause we can get Bobcat there. Uh, we need one scoring more than eight. So basically you want a male. They're normally over eight. And a uh, coyote with Buckshot. So we could do that as well. We'll see what's about and then what happens because you never know in the hunter games you go hunting for one thing and then something else turns up so you never know what's going to happen and that's the beauty of the game you go out for moose and you end up with a massive elk <laughs> it's just how it works sometimes right let's go to loggers point so we're in the middle tower i've got my electronic e-caller with the bobcat usb stick you can have various different USB caller add-ons for the e-caller. And we're just going to sit in this middle tower because it's very good for Bobcat. You get quite a few around this location. It's very good for Whitetail. One of the best locations for Whitetail. Uh, feral hogs, pheasants, coyotes. So it's a really good place if you haven't been here before, if you're a new player. But I've got a tent there. Then I fast travelled over to the tower. And this is the area you want to be looking for the bobcats. A lot of them are around this area. But then you just have to wait for them to come in. So we want a male bobcat. I'm using the 223. That's what we're going to shoot it with. Have we got anything about? They slide in so slyly sometimes. Um, you, you'll be looking around and next week you know there's one near your caller. One thing I'll say though about this location is when they get about 20 meters out from the caller, they can just run off. So once you get a clean shot, I'd take it. But make sure you check the whole radius of where you're hunting because sometimes you'll get two or three coming in at the same time. That's actually a female. So that probably won't do it. I don't think they go to eight. So ideally you want a male. If you get a male coming, you should do that part of the objective so as I said I'm just going to check around make sure there's no others we'll take this one out anyway at least we know we've got one of the females out of the way and hopefully we get a male coming can't see any more just making sure there's no big white tail I've had some absolute monster white tail at this location and a super rare one as well Ah, we've got Cody. I didn't put the book shot on. 
We need to get one with a book shot. My tent is just down there, but I don't want to spook the bobcat and the coyote. Uh, right, we'll shoot the bobcat and hopefully we'll get more bobcats or coyotes come back. But it is a good location for coyotes. Right. Let's get the 223. Let's take out this bobcat. Here we go. She's just coming in slowly. I do love this 223 semi automatic. Such a nice fun gun. Hey, oh, we spooked another one. I didn't even see that one. Is it a male? Where's it going? Come here. <laughs> so, as I just said, you gotta keep your eyes out. You never know. <laughs> we collect that one first, because you never know. If that's a male, we might have done the objective. But they do sneak in so sneakily. What have you been up to this week on Hunter Classic? Let me know in the comments if you had any nice animals, any nice trophies. Let me know. Let's just turn that off. So, is this a male bobcat? Or is it another female? It is. It's another female. 6.9. So, yeah, I don't think the uh, females can go to 8. Maybe they can, but I've never had one that big. But males generally start about 8. So, uh, you get a male, you normally do the mission. Here's the other one. As you can see, a great location for bobcats. So hope it helps you out. If you want me to do anything, uh, the hunter uh, guides, any other games I cover, drop it in the comments, and whichever is the most popular request, that's the video I'll do next. So let's get back in the tower. And we'll have a little wait and see what comes next. Hopefully, we get a male one. Now, while I'm waiting, the coat is back. And I've got some books shot on. So if we can call these in, we can get that part of the mission done as well. Now, like the bobcats, coyotes will come straight into the call from the jackrabbit caller. But you've got to watch it, because once they get just under the tower, they can just spook and they'll just split and dash off. So just pick the one you're going to get. And when it's in shotgun range, just blast it. It's book shot as well, so it should down it pretty easy. Now, which one's going to come in first? Come on. Now, this one is it. Right. Come here and get this shotgun down you. <laughs> here we go. So, there you go. Nice and easy. We only need one, so that's that part of the mission done. Let's run over and collect him, take a trophy shot. On the classic is getting updates, events still. What would you like to see next? I hope, and I keep saying this to some of the devs and that, I'd love to see Africa for the Hunter Classic. I think they could do it and I think it, it just blow the roof off the community. I really do think you could do it. I hope that comes in the future. But what would you like to see for the Hunter Classic? Drop it in the comments. Right, back to the tower. The Tower of Doom. Middle Tower, Logger's Point. As you can see, I've got a tent right next to it. If you come to this tent, I normally go prone straight away because when you fast travel here, there's normally animals right underneath it and you can spook them. So I've got a bobcat coming in finally, and it's a male. Just behind that rock. Right, let's get the 223 out. It's not going to be a hard shot, but it's been a fun hunt. Right, here we go. 
Bit of an awkward area. You should not have stopped there. <laughs> ah, we're not bothered about that. We wanted the bobcat. Alright, let's go collect it. And take a trophy shot. But as I said, these Apex Predator missions are going to be a lot of fun. Also, you've got the rabbits to hunt. So, you can do it in single player, multiplayer. So, lots of fun for this event. I didn't even know it was a thing. It's International Rabbit Day is actually a proper real thing. So, here we go. This should complete the objective. There you go, 8.8. .8. So, over the objective. And there you see in the top left corner, we'll get a little notification. So, let's take a trophy shot. So I'm Ron McTube, we've been doing International Rabbit Day 2022 event, I hope you enjoy the mission, the objectives and take part in this community event. It's a lot of fun and the whole community really looks forward to these events. So keep up the good work devs, they're lots of fun, I'm just trying to get the mass in. <laughs> they always turn up don't they, the rats, they love to get in the trophy shots. That'll do. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm Ron McTube. Please subscribe to my YouTube channels. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.